with Carson Vicroy. Well, Carson, you probably know a little bit more mm -hmm. about the hurricane outlook <laughs> than I do. You know, it feels like yeah. Harvey was just yesterday. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't too long ago, Cynthia. And NOAA has released some of their numbers. You can see the named storms anywhere from 13 to 19 named storms in the Atlantic Basin. Now, rule of thumb here, these are not landfalling hurricanes or tropical storms. It's just what's going to be forming in the Atlantic Ocean. Arthur, which didn't officially make landfall in North Carolina, we have already had one. Now, as far as the hurricanes go, of course, your hurricanes, they have winds of about 74 miles per hour or higher. We could have six to 10 of those form in the Atlantic Basin and then major hurricanes anywhere from three to six could form. Now, this is just a prediction. We don't have we, we can take these with a grain of salt because it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to come true, but we do need to keep our wits about us when we do see those showers and thunderstorms forming into tropical storms and hurricanes in both the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean for everybody that lives along those coasts. Now for our weather pattern here, we're seeing nothing like that. We do have this warm front that continues to lift off to the north and East Texas remains dry. However, this may not be the case a little later on this afternoon. We could have a couple of pop up showers and thunderstorms forming and this goes for all of East Texas. Better chances off to the northeast. That was three o'clock by seven o'clock as the daytime heating winds down those storms will do so as well. Clear skies overnight, but still partly cloudy, and we will have to watch out for the potential of a couple of showers and thunderstorms two hours south and two hour west. But they should dissipate before they get here, and we're dealing with partly cloudy skies at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Perhaps a little bit of drizzle at noontime, but still remaining mostly sunny for our central and northern counties with clouds down in deep east Texas. And then as we head into 5 o'clock, more bubble up showers and Thunderstorms will be possible, but again, only about 20% of us will see the rain both today and tomorrow. And then we are watching a larger complex of storms by midnight Saturday, trying to make its rounds in East Texas. But notice this will weaken just a little bit as it moves through the area, but it is something worth watching through 7 o'clock Saturday morning. But almost like what we're going to see the next couple of days, Saturday evening, a couple more pop up showers and thunderstorms are expected. So marginal risk of severe weather for some gusty winds, maybe some small hail like we saw over Toledo Bend yesterday, 70s and 80s, but we are warming up considerably as we go throughout the next couple of hours. 87 degrees. It's also going to be very humid. Almost air you can literally wear today. 70 degrees tonight, about a 20% chance of showers and thunders storms. I have 80s and 90s across the board, but the main story is going to be those rain chances. Better chances of rain to arrive for your Memorial Day and will extend into next week. But get ready for a late May, early June like pattern. Cynthia.